And a local animal shelter closed both of its locations today after a reported uptick in respiratory infections among dogs there. I spoke with representatives there about the impact on the shelter and on the community. Here's a closer look. We're seeing an uptick in a canine upper respiratory infection. It could be something minor. Uh, we really just don't know what we're dealing with right now. Staff with Cincinnati Animal Care Humane Society tell us an unsuspected spread of a respiratory illness among the dogs in their care led them to pause operations at both their Colerain Avenue and Dane Avenue locations Sunday. A lot of times these cases present as run-of-the-mill kennel cough which in our line of work, we deal with not infrequently. Right now, I know that there are um, three dogs that are definitely affected. Community Engagement Manager for Cincinnati Animal Care, Ray Anderson, says staff closed the shelters out of an abundance of caution as they wait for test results to confirm how serious the infection is. He says halting operations, even temporary, is a massive strain for them. Any pause in operations is not good for us. There's maybe 90 of us total that work here at the shelter and we service a county of 800,000 people. There are more than 400 dogs in the Cincinnati care shelter right now. Anderson says earlier this month, the shelters took in more than 300 dogs. He says a majority of those dogs were unvaccinated. A dog is coming in unvaccinated and they're already sick. Uh, that is something that is always gonna be a concern for an animal shelter. They get vaccinated upon arrival that's not an immediate cure for anything. Anderson believes as many as three and four dogs staff at Cincinnati Care take in are unvaccinated. This latest uptick in respiratory infections at the shelter comes six months after an outbreak in canine distemper virus killed four dogs. It's hard work, but it's a mental and it's an emotional toll as well. Anderson is now hoping to hammer home the importance of vaccinating pets while asking volunteers and foster families to step up. Just losing even a single day of adoptions like we lost today, we're going to need adopters and fosters to come out from the community in a big way. No animal can leave the shelter without a human attached to it. It says Cincinnati animal care staff could be getting test results back within the next day or so. He says depending on how serious the respiratory infection is, it could be a few days before dog operations resume. As of right now, no cats are affected.